Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today, we are here in Splatsville. As you can see, the city is bustling and there's so much to do and explore in this city, but I don't wanna get too carried away right away. We're gonna be going online, doing some turf battle and checking out some of the hero gear replica. At least that's the plan. Right now, it's not showing up in my inventory. I don't know why, but of course, when we beat the Splatoon 3 uh, story mode, we unlocked all the hero gear replica. So, of course, I wanna check that kind of stuff out first and foremost as our first showcase, um, but I'll have to go and figure out how to do that. I think I might just have to hop into a game and go from there. So yeah, definitely just sort of focus on showcasing our story mode rewards, and from here on out, we'll be checking out plenty of different things in the online modes, different game modes, different weapon types and gear, all that kind of thing. But for right now, here we are in the little training area. This is where we can sort of train up, warm up a little bit while we're looking for a match. But I'm just a little curious as to where because I know some of the stuff around here, like we can play this little gotcha game for coins, which we don't have any, because we haven't played online. We can do things like uh, interact here. Hello there, welcome. And we can use our tickets, which our tickets from story mode are also not showing up. That is a little confusing. But over here we have uh, Judd. Uh, your style is as fresh as an old litter box. Go play some turf four battles in, in a battle spot. And once you've leveled up a bit, don't forget to visit the ammo knights in the square. See, we can't really do too much because we're not leveled up. And that's where I'm a little confused. So maybe if we just play a little bit online, we'll get to figure some things out. So let's try it out. So here we are. Um, and I guess we're gonna do a regular battle. We'll start with this and we'll see if somewhere along the way we unlock the hero gear. But for right now, yeah, let's do a regular battle. Okay, so our first Turf War Splatoon 3. Let's get to it. Which team are we on? I think we are on the blue team. I don't know, I guess it, doesn't really show me anywhere, so that's okay. I think I just go as player here for some reason. We're on the pink team, so yeah, let's get to it. This is gonna be great. Hopefully I'm not, you know, too bad online. We just beat the story mode, so you know, that's a little bit of a debriefer, right? But for right now, we're just gonna focus on this weapon combo and see how things go. Uh, oh gosh. And of course, if you're new to Splatoon Online, with Turf 4, the whole goal is to cover up more floor than the opponents will, so. Yo, let's try this out, oh no. Whoa, they're going for me, that was not good. I did not see them. <laughs> so I'm getting splatted right away, it happens. But yeah, our goal of course is to splat the opponents and stuff, but the thing that we need to do to win is cover more of the ground with our ink than the opponents. So hopefully we can get to that. So whenever we see some enemy ink like this over here, definitely worth covering up before they notice us. So we can now get up here really quickly. I don't see any opponents around for the time being, so right now is a great time to cover things up. I love this song so much. All right, uh, oh, I saw you. Gotcha, okay, so our first splat. Not too bad, not too bad. So with this weapon setup, I do also have the, the typical splat bomb. I can also do a little bit like this over here. Okay, whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, there was somebody there, but they got splatted. So, so far, I think our team is doing pretty well. Oh, can I get you, can I get you? Um, maybe, maybe not, I might wanna back up from that. And I see somebody's about to jump over here, so I'm gonna splat them right away, but somebody got me too. So, a little bit of a trade, that's okay. But it looks like, yeah, there's some spots our team has yet to cover, so I might wanna help them out a little bit. Go. Yeah, you're gonna cover that up. I'm gonna help with that over there, that was pretty good. As more range than I'd expect. Oh, I can get up here too? Oh, this is neat. Oh, look at this, look at this, whoa! Almost got you, almost got you, where'd you go? Oh, you're running, aren't you? I'm gonna try to chase you down. Oh no, I'm getting surrounded! Ah, darn. So, so far pretty tough. Their team staying on top of things, but there's a lot of stuff that I guess, I, I think that's stuff that can't be covered. One minute left, and that's the most important part of Turf War is the last minute of everything. Ah, uh, wait, they're coming from overhead. That was so bad. Jeez, sometimes when people sort of zigzag all over the place, I have such a hard time keeping up with them. We'll see if I can improve it all from, of course, my experience with, uh, oh gosh, with Splatoon 2, which is to say, I was never very good at the game, I always tried my best, but I definitely, of course, need to get a little bit more warmed up to the game. But I think for right now, what might be smarter, come on, ah, oh, jeez. Oh, okay, you're just gonna sprint away, sort of. I might wanna try something like this. That's gonna keep me shielded up, so if they do show up to me. Okay, good they are. Oh no, oh no, come on. Oh, you're just trying to run. Oh, you got your own shield now. That is not good. Whoa, come on, come on. There's so many people everywhere, but I can't reach any of them. I got a little bit more there. Gonna throw that that way and just cover as much turf as I possibly can. That's what matters. Oh no. 
I don't know if we won. Ooh, it was pretty close though. I think they did beat us out by the end of it though. Yeah, by a good 10% too. So unfortunately, we're not winning our first online game, but I feel like that's to be expected. We need to play a little bit, learn the ropes, and hopefully soon we can get some Ws. But there we go, there's our first round with the Splatter Shot Jr. We'll see what that ends up unlocking for us, if we're actually able to check out the Hero Shot now that we've played a little bit online. But as you can see, I still get some of our first bit of coins and our first bit of experience too. Woo, so that's what battles are like. Hey, did you happen to notice how some of your opponents had cool looking name displays? Those are called splash tags and they're fully customizable to show off your personality. Wait. Hmm, it looks like you might have a bit of older data on your splash tag. Let's see if we can get that sorted out. Anarchy battles unlocked. Join one from the battle spot. I don't know what an anarchy battle really is, but we also get three gold Sheldon licenses. Bring these to Ammonites to get new weapons. Now you just need to register a new nickname and you'll be all set. You gotta show up in style to your next battle. Hit the, hit the lobby terminal and set a nickname, okay? What do you wanna call yourself? You can change this later. Okay, so yeah, I would like to just be called Zebra. There we go, looks good to me. Choose a nickname that violates, yep, of course. I would never, I would never. There we go, so Zebra6232 is our nickname, very cool. Now that you've got a fresh splash tag, it's time to get out there and make it famous. All right, sounds great to me. So yeah, things are going pretty well here. So since we don't have the hero gear unlocked it's for some reason, I think it's because we haven't played online, today's episode will be focused on showcasing the Splatter Shot Jr., which you can see here. And if we take a look at it more info, you can see it is a pretty basic weapon. It's what we've been using more or less in this story mode with a little less than average range, low damage, but a very high fire rate. It comes with the Splat Bomb and the Big Bubbler, and it needs 180 points for the special. So if we take a look on the other side, the Splat Bomb is a bomb that explodes a short time after it lands. It inks the area around it when it explodes and can even take out opponents. The big bubbler can deploy this device at your feet to shield yourself with a large spherical barrier. This bubble will block outside ink attacks, but it can't prevent opponents themselves from entering. Damage the top section or the thinner device will cause the barrier to pop more quickly. So, yep, we know how this works now and we can hop in and try it out. So let's check out the uh, terminal over this way. And we got some stuff, here we go. All of our stuff we found in Alterna, it is a ton. Oh my gosh, it's so much. And we got another pack of cards for Table Turf Battle. Whoa, hey, we got the Heavy Splatling, Dynamo Roller, Octocopter, 52 Gallon, and Splattershot Pro. So do we open all these now? We get Sheldon, Octobomber, Fizzy Bomb, and Splatter Scope. We had a repeat there as well. We got the splash matic Reflux 450, Big Shot, and Ballpoint Splatling. We had a ton of these, so gonna take us a moment to open them all up. The Splat Charger, Slammin' Lid, Rapid Blaster Pro, Splash Wall, and Octoballer. Here comes another pack. This one, the Dually Spelchers, and the Clash Blaster. The rest were repeats. We got the Tentabrella, Angle Shooter, Scrapper, and the Golden Tower Control. That seems neat. What about in this one? Mini Splatling, Zipcaster, which is golden, the Point Sensor, and the Golden Goalie, or Goldie. And of course, our Sunken Scroll stickers. I guess we're getting all the Sunken Sea Scrolls. Very nice. And we full explored everything on the Story Mode map, so here's a bunch of extra stuff too. And don't forget, our Story Mode is complete, so we get all the hero gear. So I guess we'll showcase that next episode, as well as the Secret, ke secret Kettle found and cleared. There is just so much, and we get a new title, The Alternan and the World Champ. Tons and tons of stuff, wasn't that crazy? All right then, so I don't think there's too much more I need to do here, but ooh, looks like you got something you can use to spiff up your splash tag. Remember, you can change up your splash tag anytime at the lobby terminal. You can change the background banner, add badges, and show off a fun title. So I think we can also pause the game and do it here, right? Um, Maybe not. I thought that there was a way. Our status, here we go. So we can edit this up a little bit. As you can see, I don't have a ton, but I can add a couple of things like the uh, the Grizzco Grizz or... Uh, <laughs> there we go, so can I add more than one? Oh, I can, wait, wait, I wasn't done, I wasn't done. I'm gonna add all three, of course. Our new Squid Beak Splatoon. And then, what do we have, Spotlandian World Champ. There we go, 
That seems pretty cool to me. But we'll add more of those as we keep unlocking stuff. But for right now, we're doing pretty well with everything we have. The Spider Shark Jr., the Cephalopods, Tri Shred T, and the Forest Reboots. I think I wanna hop back online and do some more Turf War. So we're back with another one, back at the museum as well. So this is our chance to redeem ourselves. We got a good warm up last round. Now we gotta get the win. So as we're hopping into this battle, I would love to hear your thoughts on the Splatter Shot Jr. I'm sure you've had some time with it because it's the weapon you need to start the game with. So what are your thoughts on the Splatter Shot Jr. setup? Do you think it's good, bad, or somewhere in between? And of course, any other feedback or insight you'd like to share with me? I'd love to hear it. I don't think they'll see me. Okay, um, they definitely won't because there's nobody around here. So covering up these little corners, they might not think the check is a great way to start things off. Having good base coverage. Ooh, somebody has a charger though. Okay, let's try to toss it over and try to reach you. Got you a little bit. Come on, gotcha. All right, that was good. That's our first blot of this round. I wanna get up here for now if I can. And then yeah, let's make a major jump over. This is where I'm playing things pretty risky, but they don't see me. They don't see me. Oh no. Uh, whoa. Okay, that was a little scary. Now might be a good time to set that shield, but if they're inside the shield, we'll need to be careful. That's where they can still damage us quite a lot. Okay, so. This thing is gonna shrink over time, but I'm just trying to play things safe for now. And it looks like they're quite stuck in the corner. And another way to keep track on if you're doing well, if you're winning or not, is on the top right, you can see that their team has a danger symbol next to it. That means, of course, they're in danger of losing right now. So we definitely have a good lead. We're just trying our best to keep it. I'm gonna toss it over there and just recoup a little bit, I think is the best idea. They're trying to chase me down with that charger, which I don't like so much. I think what we wanna do here is let them come out a little bit, then start splatting them. That was good. I see you over here. We're doing super well so far. People are jumping over to me, so I need to make sure I'm in a safe spot. I'll toss that over. It doesn't quite reach all the way where I wanted it to, but I think we're good to come back up this way. And then maybe jump down onto you. That was good. Oh, but they're chasing me down. Let's back it up again. And I think that if we could just stay around here, probably a good idea, because we're keeping them stuck in that corner. Okay, gotta jump over that, but whoa. There's another one coming, there it is. One minute left, and they're trying to get out here. Okay, they got him, they got him. And they don't seem to see me. There we go. Gonna toss it up that way. And I'm trying not to be like too mean. Obviously, if they're struggling, I don't wanna keep them stuck in the corner the whole time, because that's not so fun. But at the same time, I'm trying to still play the game. There's 42 seconds remaining, and they could turn it around in that time. Turnarounds are very, ow, possible in Turf War. That was the first time we've gotten spotted. We got me with the leader 4K. All right then, so let's head right back out there and continue to cover Turf, because they are trying to make their way out. There's a good chunk of stuff that wasn't even covered over here, so I just wanna touch up on that. Jump over all that stuff for sure. And then maybe I could, ooh. Okay, they didn't see that. I didn't get hit by it either, so. <laughs> 10 seconds remaining. What can I cover up around here? Oh boy. I do have my shield, maybe I'll set that up and then not do much with it. <laughs> Come on, there we go, we got another spot to finish it off and I think we won that one. So yeah, definitely a great redemption from the first round. We dominated that time with a 54% score. Pretty cool. All right then, so we finally got, look what we got, number one overall splatter, home base anchor, and super jump shot. So we got a lot of accolades for that game. We did great. So there we go, some good action with the Splatter Shot Jr. Finally got it in there, I'm glad. So look at those, we want all sorts of medals. We got nine splats, we get the level two no problem, and our abilities are getting upgraded for our gear. So the more you play your gear, play with your gear, the more abilities you unlock with them, and the better they will be. So that's looking pretty good. I think we'll just keep going. Okay, so back to Turf War. This time we're in Scorch Gorge, which is a brand new one for Splatoon 3, so I'm definitely excited to hop into this. We are on the orange team. Let's keep it going. And if we gain enough levels in today's episode, we should be able to um, buy some extra gear and stuff. So that'll be fun. Oh, this is so neat. I love this area, because it's just thematically so much different than most of the Splatoon areas we've been to throughout the other games, you know? That's why this part's my favorite, and I wish that more of the story mode sort of covered environments like this. Anyways, my general goal, of course, is to earn up points, as you can see on the top right. Um, and I'm trying to get to about 900 to 1,000. That usually means we have a good impact with covering turf. 
Whoa. Uh, you know, let's back up and then try to run. Oh, I am in a corner. I'm in a huge corner. That was, this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. The last map I think was in a previous Splatoon game and this one, not so much. So I'm learning the ropes as we go along is a bit of a challenge, right? So just trying to figure that out, but it looks like some of the opponents are, are getting some good splats on us, but we're returning the favor too. This music is pretty interesting. This one's sort of chill, but also exciting. Okay, it looked like there's some people up there. Oh, I see you. Come on. Gotcha. And then I might just want to toss that up there. You know what? Shield time, shield time. Okay, now if they try to come over the side, ain't gonna work. Oh, wow, they spotted each other. I, I tried to help, but I didn't really have much of an impact, but it looks like so far. Gotcha. Ooh, that was close. I need to hide because they're gonna be coming up on me soon enough. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I'm gonna toss it over there. And wait a minute, you're right here, come on. Gotcha! Gotta be careful. I feel bad, because I know that they just get out of their spawn, and I don't want to be the kind of player that just sits on spawn. So I'm trying to make sure that everything is properly covered. Before we resort to such tactics, but it looks like there actually is much more to cover over here. Um, ooh. But they might try to get around to different spots, and that's something I need to be aware of. Okay, so I don't think there's really a way over there, but that's sort of their point, right? Is that they're, the map is designed in that way so we don't get up there very easily. Okay, so I got them pretty well. Somebody's jumping over to me, so we have another minute left. I think I wanna get up here, just keep tossing stuff over. Ooh, they don't see me, I don't think. Oh, but that one up there did. Yikes, so I got one, somebody else got me, but maybe we can clean up over here but with the minute remaining. It's actually, we're gonna have to get out there quick. Go, because they could try to, you know, yeah, counter us and cover a lot of the stuff up. I haven't earned up a ton of points so far this round, but like I said, they've had a lot of it. There we go. They haven't really covered very much of it, so after a while, it doesn't really ooh, add up to be very easy to cover more turf. Okay, but there's more over this way. Was there somebody running around? I guess there had to be. Oh no, oh no, ready? Oh, they didn't see me, they didn't see me. Oh yes, they did see me, oh no! Wait, 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 back it up, back it up. Come on, come on, ah, oh, they got me. But that's okay, because the rest of our team is clearing it up, and I think that means we'll win this one. It looks like we will. Come on. Great job, team. So there we go, we had a rough start with that one loss, but we're bouncing back with two wins in a row. There it is, 61 to 31. Very dominant win, so so far, the Splattershot Junior is looking more like a Splattershot Pro or something, it's just, it's really nice. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Another win, we all have the, most of us have the same poser. <laughs> I think there's a way to unlock new poses though, so I'm excited for that. But in the meantime, we got the super jump shot and then two silver medals. Will we get to level three? Almost. So yeah, definitely trying to earn some levels throughout this, but let's keep it going. I wanna do at least a few more rounds before we run around uh, Splatsville and try to unlock some extra stuff. Cause I think I need to be level four to unlock or to start accessing the shop. So if we could do that in today's episode, that would be fantastic. So we're back here on Scorch Gorge. And I think yeah, we were on the purple team. So can we get a third win in a row? We're about to find out. I'm just gonna cover up yeah, some of the more back stuff because a lot of those players, they wanna jump out ahead and get as many spots as possible in the time they're given, which, you know, maybe not the entire point of this game mode, but they're gonna do what they're gonna do. I can't judge them too much, right? Sometimes I wanna go out there and get spots too. So I'm going to stay back and try to cover some of the turf more diligently. I have a feeling that our opponents are gonna be a little bit more adept this time since we had an easy round last time. I'm gonna set the shield and then go crazy on you. And by crazy, I mean miss most of my shots, but you know, I got a lot of it by the end and we still got the spot on them. Ooh, I don't think that person sees me. Oh, they have the crab. They're, they don't see me over here, so here's our chance to go. Here's our chance to go and not miss every shot, please. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the range isn't the best in the splatter shot, Junior, and I think some of those weaknesses will start to show more and more as we, we play different weapons, but for right now, it's what we have, it's what we gotta work with. I'm gonna toss that down that way and it didn't quite go for it. But I can hop over this way and then maybe get you. Okay, I didn't, but my teammate did. Oh no. Gotcha, that was not too bad. Ooh, actually, I didn't toss that very well, but we can still maybe get them. <laughs> that was weird, that was weird. Uh, we're just gonna get up this way. 
That's good. Now this part's a little risky because we're just so visible when we're running across here. We're pushing them back in the corner. They don't see me back here. Gotcha. I'm gonna toss it over and then set up my shield. I can't for some reason. It was just not letting me and that sort of just threw me off. But I got one of them. The other one got me. Yeah, and we had them push back in that corner again. Seems to be a bit of a theme here with Scorch Gorge. Oh no, oh no. Got it. I'm going to back up a little bit. I do see you getting up this way. I think, oh, you're gonna try to jump up, but I'm sorry, I caught you out. I know that was a cool plan though. Great try, for sure. Uh, Gonna wait down here for a moment, but then I don't know if they see me. Oh no, oh no. Toss another one over. Just gonna try to block them off from that. It looks like somebody tried to make that jump, but unfortunately fell to their doom. Okay, I see you up there. I don't know if that got you. I don't think it did. Okay, ooh. I'm not really seeing too much happen around here. I might just wanna set that shield so that if they try to push this area, they can't really. Okay, fill up on ink. Toss it over. Oh no, oh no. Ah, oh, I should've stayed in my shield. That was silly of me. Oh, they're bouncing back in a big way. We need to jump out there fast then. Let's go over to you. Oh no, they might try to get me with that. I need to move, I need to move. Ooh, just barely survived. Come on, this is our chance. We need to cover as much turf as possible because they could bounce back here and make a, a huge uh, comeback. A wipeout, whoa, how did that happen? Somebody knocked all of them out at once. That was crazy. Did we win this one? This one's gonna be close. Just barely, by 3% exactly, we get our third win. Lots of threes. And we get a lot of gold medals for that one. Overall splatter and a couple of others. We are doing really good now, this is great. So yeah, let's see what we get for this. Overall splatter, turf inker, and home base inker. Look at this, we're level three now, and we get a good couple hundred more coins. Actually, a couple thousand maybe? We're at 13,000 now, so let's keep it going. Like I said, my main goal is getting the level four. But look at that, we got top of the scoreboard on our team, a bunch of spots. Things are going really well. Ooh, so we're back here at the museum. We've done quite well here so far, but this is also the only map we've had a loss on in today's episode, so we'll see if that continues. I think this song might be my favorite one out of the new Splatoon 3 soundtrack, though. I've really had it stuck in my head several times. Looks like my teammates are going to the right, so I'd like to stay to the left for now. Get as much of this covered as we can before the opponents start showing up and covering turf as well, but I wanna get right out there in the center of battle and Try to spot you at least a little bit. Jeez, I just can't hit that. It is hard to sometimes just fire upwards like that. So they're on our side of the turf, which I don't like, but we're just gonna hang back for a moment. I see the crab, and I think that if I go like this, yep, come on, no, no, wait, wait, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Gotcha, that was super sloppy by me, but if we made it, we made it. Okay, so cover up more turf, try to be very careful. I'm gonna toss that over. Ah, oh, didn't quite get them. But you know what, I'm just gonna sneak up and over. Oh, you get back here, you get back here. Come on, I almost got you. Where are you going? You get back here. I'm trying to stop them because they're covering all my turf and I can't get up there. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That is actually sort of frustrating. Okay, they don't see it. Ah, oh, that didn't get them though. That will though, finally, get them out of there so we can go back to covering turf. I just like could not catch up to them, they were so quick. All right, shield. Okay, the shield almost didn't pop up soon enough. Don't go out of the shield. Okay, the shield is here. It's gonna pop soon, but I can make my way around. Oh, they are chasing me down. Oh, it was with the, the, the crab tank. Gonna toss that over, and then go for you, go for you. Oh, the double splat. Oh man, there was a moment of hesitation there, and that's what got me. Okay, so I think we need to cover up some of that area. Actually, it looks like our teammates got it, so maybe I'll just jump over this way. I'm gonna toss that way out, that like that, and get back to cleaning this up. We gotta play janitor here, as I'd like to call it. Uh, all right, they don't see me. Got him, that was a great splat. I was able just to stay accurate with it. All right, where are you, where are you? I know, we're both looking out for each other here. Shield time, there we go. Oh no, they're gonna try to get up close to me. That's the big uh, secret to going against the shield, is getting within that bubble and splatting me from within there. 
very scary when they try to do that. Oh no, oh no, almost fell. That's not gonna work very well. I'm just gonna try to hide from this person because that angle does not benefit me. Okay, they're still trying to do the same thing. You know what, I'm gonna just move around then and see what else I could do. Somebody just got splatted over there. I'm almost at a thousand points. Oh, somebody's over that way. Come on, 10 seconds remaining. At the least we could play clean up here. I can splat you as soon as you pop up and then somebody splats me. Oh, this is gonna be close with two seconds remaining. I think we can win. Oh, I think so. Yeah, there we go. So yet another win for today's episode, 59.7%. I think that might be our highest percentage so far too. And look at that, we got even more gold medals. We are tearing up the turf today, it's great. So there we go, another victory. We all got our, our finger up in the air, the same exact pose. Okay, good stuff. See, so let's see how much experience we get for all of that action. A good chunk, so we are closing in just a little bit more for level four. Oh, okay, so I was matching again, but then the game got stuck and I was just matching forever, so I reloaded the game, but it just said, hey, you just leveled up. Did you know you can use the Sheldon license you got on shiny new weapons? Well, you can. Head to the square and check out the Ammonites. Happy shopping. So I'll do that soon enough, but I wanna do a few more rounds, like I said, because I'm still trying to get to level four, because I know that unlocks some more of the shops. So I wanna try to get to level four with the Splatter Shot Junior, and then we'll maybe check out some more of Splatsville. Okay, get another turf four. I had some major connection issues, but here we are at Mako Mart, so it seems like we have a whole new combo stuff to explore, at least for maps. Very cool, so we'll see how this one goes. Maybe we'll get another win. It's been a while since I played on Mako Mart, of course, but this was on Splatoon 2 for sure. Um, I'm gonna build this up. There we go, took a little bit. Uh, more than I was expecting, but it is a lot of turf to cover in Mako Mart, and it looks like we have our first opponent over that way. Let's see if they will. Ooh, ooh, where'd you go? How did that not hit you at first? I don't know, but we ended up getting you anyways. Uh-oh, uh, oh no. Ooh, this is gonna be a problem. Oh, they were moving all over the place, left and right. I just couldn't keep up with that, but they had the Hero Shot replica, which is more or less what I have right now, I think. I don't know what makes Splatter Shot Jr. all that different from Hero Shot replica. We'll find out next episode. Right now, though, I gotta cover up a bunch of turf all over the place. It looks like somebody wants to bring out a Booyah. I think that's my first Booyah Splatoon 3. Awesome. All right then, so let's hop over here to try to help out whoever I can, cover whatever turf I can see, which right now, I'm gonna bring that out, because I see you over there, and you guys are gonna try to break through, but oh, I got somebody with their splat on, that was great. They're gonna think I'm still in that shield, I think, for at least a moment, right? Okay, I wanna sneak over here, because I know, yeah, somebody was covering turf. Little Danano, I'm just gonna uncover all that turf they just did, hopefully, there we go. So all their work was sort of in vain. Gonna toss that over that way so that hopefully, you know, I'm covering ink while I'm covering ink. Whoa, 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 not good, not good. Yeah, be careful up there. I think I'm gonna find another way around. Cause I do sort of remember that from Mako Mart is that when things get tough, you wanna find some different paths around. That could have been good if I was sort of, you know, more accurate. But I think that's something we'll just have to work on. Either way, gonna jump over this way because I see some stuff we can maybe cover up. Got it, we're at 524 points and the purple team is in danger. Okay, whoa, what about? Okay, they knew I was chasing them. Ah, uh, they sort of lured me into that one. I, I thought that they didn't know, but they knew. Okay, so one minute remaining. This is where everything counts and where we gotta make as little mistakes as we can muster. Toss it over and see, oh my gosh, whoa. Gotcha, sort of. Um, <laughs> it, it was a team effort. Wait, 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 there's too many! Ah, oh, I should've put my shield down or something, but there was just too much happening there. That is not good, but there's still 40 seconds remaining. Maybe I can jump out to a teammate like this and immediately throw out a slap on. This is where I usually get hit. I'm fine for right now. Come on, gotta cover up all that and anything we can find up there. Oh, here you are, here you are. No way, no way, I was firing straight at them and they still were able to sink into their ink. I feel like usually when I try that, it doesn't really work. I don't know, I must not have the right concept then. Okay, come on, there's no way that I'm letting them get all that. There we go, there we go. We only have a couple seconds left here, so throw another splat bomb and just cover as much surface as we can. I think at this point we ignore the enemies and we just cover rank. <laughs> there we go, uh, let's see how that worked. That might be our first loss in a while, I'm not really sure. Uh, it was a challenging one, but it is actually quite close. 
No way, we won. That is definitely huge props to the team. There's no way I got all the golds there. Unless that's, I don't think that's bronze. Yeah, I, I'm really surprised by that one. I feel like my teammates did way better than I did. But let's take a look at the scoreboard and see what's really true. See, so yeah, I got the golden for all that. Oh, and we're finally level four. Um, See, so yeah, I'm gonna stop there. I guess I'd already shared the scoreboards. Uh, players are waiting for us to join, but I'm going to leave it there. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. I, I got close to top splatter, but I wasn't. So maybe it's sort of, I don't know how it works because this is number one popular target. Oh yeah, because I didn't get that. I got number one popular target, home base anchor, and super jump spot. So it looks like there are different medals to get. So that's pretty cool. I feel like I didn't do the best there, pardon the interruption, but we're picking up a pretty fresh vibe from you lately. Did you know that there are a few shops around here with gear that can help you out? I'm talking clothes, shoes, headgear, and even new weapons, and the general store too. Check them out and tell them this disembodied voice sent you. All right, I definitely will. But before we do, there's a couple more things I want to take a look at around here. Uh, it looks like you're ready to visit the locker room. But swing by Hot Lances first, okay? So I can't do that just yet, but I did want to take a look at these. Try your luck with the shot machine. Sure, for 5,000, I can do the first play of the day. And what do we get inside? We got a new title, the Modern Splat Dooley's User. Very cool, so I won't equip those now, but that is pretty pricey. Um, oh, and it looks like we have a uh, Judd we can talk to. Make sure you visit the Ammonites after you level up. They might have new stuff in stock. Leveling up earns you Sheldon licenses, which will let you buy even more weapons. Awesome, so yeah, let's go back out into Splatsville and start spending some of our coins. This will be a lot of fun to explore around here and to sort of figure some things out, but uh, whoa, the game's getting laggy. I forgot I can't cover turf around here. So there's still so much more to do around here, showcasing different weapons, trying different game modes, all that sort of thing. But for right now, I'm mostly just focused on spending my coins wherever I can. So first things first, uh, what's going on over this way? So I think we saw this before. Oh, hey, welcome to Hotlantis. I don't really work here, but you can shop around and I'll sell you stuff. Don't ask me what to do with any of it. Put it in your locker, I guess? It's all pretty random, you'll see. Uh, your locker is in the locker room, duh. You can go look at it later. If there's anything in there, I guess it's yours by default. Oh, and I'm supposed to give you one of these. It's a catalog. You got a catalog. Earn a catalog points in battle or on the job to get your hands on incredible items. Do you do battles and work shifts at Grisco and stuff? I guess you get catalog points for doing things like that. And then every time your catalog level goes up, you get a prize. And I get to dig through all this stuff to find it and give it to you. Yay. Anyway, let's get this first one out of the way right now. Your very first prize. Cherish it. Thank you, Harmony. Catalog level up. So we got the uh, new banner. You can customize your splash tag with that. Let's equip it now. Okay, I'll let you get back to shopping or whatever. So I don't know if I'll buy too many of these because they are quite pricey, at least not at first. I want to sort of spread out my cash in today's episode. We'll buy something cheaper, like uh, the blue bucket. Uh, how many? Just one. So I guess we can buy more than one. Cool, thanks. I uh, hope your locker is looking really fresh or something. All right then. Thank you, Harmony. It was a pleasure to meet you. But let's take a look around and see what other shops. So Harmony Shop is right there at the Hotlantis. Let's try this one. Oh, I think this is the weapon shop. So who's our new weapons seller? Oh, it's Sheldon still. All right then, so Ammonite's weapons. Hello, hello, let me guess. You're looking for some new weapons? You've come to the right place. Hold the phone. What is that? I didn't know you were a collector of vintage weapons. I must say, it's fascinating, but you'll need something far fresher for the Splatlands. Of course, before you walk out of here with something shiny and new, you're aware you'll need the correct Sheldon license, yes? So as you can see, we have three of them already. And you can get Sheldon licenses by battling and leveling up, or even just developing your skills by using a particular weapon a lot. Ah, you've surprised me yet again. You already have at least one gold Sheldon license? You are a true collector. In that case, I'm pleased to inform you that you'll be able to unlock a larger selection than usual right off the bat. Congratulations. I'm pleased to report that my already wide selection has widened further yet. Take a look, I insist. Aha, you're ready to wield the splatter shot. The Splatter Shot is beloved for its ease of handling and high potential. This is the latest model, the go-to weapon. Paired with suction bombs, you have a wonderfully stable loadout that allows you to respond to whatever enemy thro it throws at you. 
And let's not forget the Trizuka special. Let one off the leash at the right moment and I can guarantee your opponent won't forget. Is this setup a little basic? Yes, basically one of the best setups you can have. Master the fundamentals and you'll become a force to be reckoned with. And that's not all. You're also ready for the spot roller. Okay, he's gonna describe all these. I want him to sort of go more deeper into these things when we do individual weapon showcases for them. It is sort of silly that he explains them all right now, because like, how are you supposed to retain all this about all these different weapons? But we'll definitely take a look at these and see the deeper things Sheldon has to say about them in upcoming episodes. If you wanna see more weapon showcases, definitely stay tuned for that. But for right now, Sheldon's got a lot to blab about. Okay, finally stop talking. I'm not gonna buy any of these right now because I'll be showcasing them later. Oh, and I could just jump to the shops like this. So we have Nakatura headgear. Gnarly Eddie's here. Yo, welcome to Nakatura. Whoa, you're pretty fresh, huh? So, um, we sell stuff that you wear on your head, you know? Like hats and uh, other head-related gear. Oh, but they're not just regular hats. I always forget this part. They've got like gear abilities. I think those help you in battles. I don't know too much though. I just work here. You should probably push ZL at some point. So as you can see, uh, check it out. Oh, we got a little, a little snail back there too. Didn't even see them. All right then, so we have the urchin's cap, tennis headband, fish fry visor, cephalopods, home team catcher, and uh, blob mob masks. Some of these, like the cephalopod, cephalopods, don't I already have these equipped right now? Yeah, so why would I wanna buy this again? Oh, so like, you already have that item. Did you want to raise its star power or trade in your old one? Um, neither. So that's good to know. I guess I'll be able to upgrade things or raise the star power that way. For right now, I'm focused on just buying whatever gear I can that I don't have. So things have like the home team catcher, the blob mob mask. I think we will get to start things off, I like the fish fry visor. I wanna equip that when we buy it. There we go. Looking cool, sounds good. Enjoy your new gear. If you wanna change your setup, just check out the equip menu, okay? All right then, so where was that at? Or will this just sort of spit me out back at the center? Okay, if that's the case, then we'll sort of switch over from here. That's probably the fastest way to do it. Um, so we checked out the, uh, the Ammonites the not couture headgear, and now we got the man o' wardrobe clothing. Ah, you are here, good, welcome to man o' wardrobe. I see that you are a fresh and fashionable person, so I will allow you to shop here. However, you must respect the merchandise. Filthy hands are a lifetime ban. Now then, surely you are aware of gear abilities, yes? These can help you fight and win battles. Do you wish to attain the same level of knowledge as me? Then press the yell and prepare to learn. So as you can see, we can see different details about the gear that we have here. Um, for right now, I don't wanna go too far into that. We'll be checking some of that out soon, but we have things like the Zinc Layered LS, pretty cool shirt, the Layered Vector LS, Red Vector T, Pineapple Ringer, Tri Octo T, and the Tri Squid T. I like all these, but this one, I definitely like this. It almost has stripes on it. So we'll buy that for 300. They're pretty affordable. I'll equip it now. Very well, now, now then, if you wish to change clothes, you must open the equip menu. Very nice. So, switching over here, we have the Crush Station shoes, and we got Mr. Coco. Come in, come in. Welcome to Crush Station. Ooh, you are looking fresh today. You can look even fresher with something new on your feet. Am I right? Of course I am. You know about gear abilities, right? They make the, the freshest kicks even fresher, so you can play as good as you look. Maybe even better? Nah. Anyway, press the L if you wanna hear more about them, or not if you just wanna keep shopping. Okay, so as you can see, we have the Hunter High Tops, Blue Low Tops, Oyster Clogs, Forest Reboots, Orange Dad Foot Sandals, and the Cyan Dad Foot Sandals. I like a lot of these. Obviously, we already have this one, so we'd have to spend 10,000 to upgrade it. Not really sure if we're into that at the moment. But you know what? I like the color of these ones, the Cyan Dad Foot Sandals. Well, the orange ones look cool too. Honestly, let's get the orange ones. There we go, and that's gonna give us some run speed up, and I'll equip those now. Thank you, thank you. Remember, anytime you wanna change your shoes, just hit the equip menu. And then we're back at this store. So I think, yeah, that's about everything. All the stores we can check out. There is still so much more to see, but I think that's really all we wanna do in today's video. A good in-depth look at the Splatter Shot Junior and its supporting ability item, all that kind of stuff. Very cool. I'm glad that we were able to get high enough levels to also check out all the shops and stuff. Next episode, I wanna check out all of the Hero Shot replica gear that we got for completing the story mode. That will be a ton of fun. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.